Picture this, a warm summer evening in 1961, the sun slowly dipping below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the world. You are nestled in a cozy corner of your local cinema, the anticipation thick in the air, the yearning for adventure and romance pulsating through your veins. And then, it happens. The screen comes alive with colors and characters that would forever etch themselves into your memory. You've just embarked on your first cinematic journey with Parrish, a film that would become an indelible part of your cinephile soul. As the reel spun and the story unfolded, you found yourself transported to the tobacco fields of the American South, where Parrish McLean's life unfurled like a delicate blossom. Perhaps it was his pursuit of the American dream, the stirring performances, or the captivating portrayal of love and loss that left an indelible mark on your heart. You laughed, you cried, and you marveled at the cinematic magic that enveloped you. But, my dear reader, the story doesn't end there. As we delve deeper into the world of Parrish, let me share some intriguing, behind-the-scenes tidbits that will illuminate this classic film in a whole new light. So, fasten your seatbelts, for we are about to embark on a journey through time and celluloid, exploring the secrets and wonders of Parrish. Get ready to be astonished and delighted, for the tales that await are nothing short of extraordinary. In 1961, the silver screen was graced by the film Parrish, a cinematic gem that transported audiences to the tobacco fields of Connecticut. While this coming-of-age drama spun its tale of love and ambition, behind the scenes, a twist of fate was unfolding in the very fields it depicted. Coincidentally, during the film's production in 1960, a devastating epidemic of blue mold swept through Connecticut's tobacco crops. This virulent disease decimated a third of the tobacco crop, leaving a trail of destruction and financial loss in its wake, costing millions to the tobacco industry. Harris showcased the meticulous cultivation of Connecticut shade tobacco, a leaf that had deep roots in the region. First planted around 1900, this prized tobacco variety once sprawled over 20,000 acres of Connecticut soil at its peak. However, by 2018, changing times saw a stark decline, with only around 2,000 acres under cultivation annually. This particular leaf gained acclaim among premium cigar makers, coveted as the outer layer, or wrapper, for their products, ensuring the tobacco's enduring legacy in the world of cigars. While Parrish painted a picture of the tobacco industry's trials and tribulations, it also inadvertently shed light on an unseen antagonist, the wireworms. These relentless pests plaguing the tobacco crop were none other than the larvae of click beetles, their subterranean mischief mirroring the struggles of the film's characters. In the backdrop of youthful dreams and the timeless allure of tobacco, Parrish inadvertently wove together a tale not only of human aspirations but also of the intricate dance between nature and nurture in the world of agriculture. In the annals of cinema, Parrish remains not only a compelling narrative but also a serendipitous witness to the challenges and triumphs of Connecticut's tobacco industry. In the 1961 film Parrish, directed by Delmer Daves, a subtle but intriguing detail adds depth to one of its scenes. In a pivotal moment in the movie, when the character Rake, portrayed by Carl Malden, discusses irrigation with Parrish, he casually mentions that it just so happens that Sekulovich is irrigating his fields. What makes this remark remarkable is that Sekulovich was Carl Malden's real name. This subtle nod to his actual identity was not an isolated incident for Malden. Throughout his career, the actor managed to cleverly incorporate his birth name into various film dialogues. Two notable examples include his role in Patton and Birdman of Alcatraz, where he deftly weaves Sekulovich into the script. This unique trademark became a charming aspect of his performances, showcasing his wit and humor. In Parrish, this moment of self-reference adds an intriguing layer to the character of Rake and exemplifies Malden's ability to infuse his roles with personal touches. It's a subtle but memorable detail that enhances the viewing experience for those in the know. Carl Malden's talent for seamlessly integrating his real name into his on-screen characters is just one of the many interesting facets of the 1961 film Parrish. While the movie may not have gained the same legendary status as some of Malden's other works, these subtle touches remind us of the creativity and craftsmanship that went into the making of this classic piece of cinema. In the 1961 film Parrish, directed by Delmer Daves, a striking red and white company car takes center stage, a 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 Sunliner. This classic automobile not only served as a mode of transportation within the film but also as a symbol of the era's automotive elegance. Delmer Davis' involvement in the project marked a significant shift in the film's direction. Originally, Joshua Logan was set to helm Parrish, but Daves ultimately took the reins. This change in leadership brought a distinct touch to the film's narrative and visual style. Moreover, the opening scene of Parrish features a ferryboat named the Selden III, which was built in 1949. What's remarkable is that as of October 2018, this very same ferryboat remained in operation, serving as a tangible link between the film's cinematic past and the real-world present. Intriguingly, Parrish weaves together elements of automotive culture, behind-the-scenes directorial changes, and a living relic from its opening scene. These details offer a unique glimpse into the making of this 1961 cinematic gem. 
1961, the silver screen bore witness to the release of Parish, a film that delved deep into the world of tobacco farming, family dynamics, and the passage of time. But behind the scenes, intriguing casting choices and a leafy subplot added layers of complexity to this cinematic endeavor. Director Joshua Logan, known for his flair for assembling star-studded casts, initially had grand plans for Parrish. He envisioned Hollywood legends Clark Gable and Vivian Lee as the film's parental figures, injecting even more star power into the production. Yet, the final ensemble brought together different talents, and Logan tested the likes of Warren Beatty and Jane Fonda for the younger characters, demonstrating his commitment to finding the perfect cast. Amid the lush tobacco fields of the film, a peculiar leaf took center stage, Connecticut Shade Tobacco. First introduced in the early 1900 seconds, it once blanketed over 20,000 acres. Fast forward to 2018, and the cultivation of this prized leaf had dwindled to around 2,000 acres annually. This tobacco variety, coveted by premium cigar makers, found its niche as the outer layer, or wrapper, for their finest products. As Parrish unspooled on the big screen, it not only told a story of love and life in a tobacco-growing community but also mirrored the changing tides of the very crop it celebrated. The film's journey from casting choices to the tobacco's history parallels the transformation of an industry and the magic of movie-making in the early 60 seconds. And that, dear readers, is a snapshot of the intriguing backstory behind the 1961 film Parish. In the 1961 movie Parish, directed by Delmer Daves, a peculiar coincidence unfolded behind the scenes. While the cameras rolled and the drama of the tobacco-rich narrative played out on screen, an actual epidemic of blue mold wreaked havoc in the tobacco fields of the real world. In 1960, when the film was in production, this devastating blight decimated nearly one-third of the tobacco crop, resulting in staggering financial losses for tobacco farmers. As the actors delivered their lines and the crew meticulously crafted each scene, the agricultural crisis added an unexpected layer of authenticity to the movie's backdrop. This real-life tragedy underscored the importance of the tobacco industry in the film's setting, where the cultivation of tobacco served as a central theme. Parrish follows the story of Parrish McLean, portrayed by Troy Donahue, as he becomes entangled in the world of tobacco farming in Connecticut. The film delves into the complexities of love, ambition, and family dynamics against the backdrop of the tobacco industry. The epidemic of blue mold, coinciding with the movie's production, poignantly mirrored the challenges faced by the characters on screen. This unexpected convergence of reality and fiction in Parrish adds a unique dimension to the film's history. It highlights the uncanny timing of events in the entertainment industry and the unforeseen ways in which the world outside of Hollywood can influence the stories being told on the silver screen. Intriguingly, the tobacco blight of 1960 serves as a reminder that sometimes, life imitates art, and vice versa, in the most unexpected and poignant ways. It also underscores the meticulous attention to detail that goes into creating a truly immersive cinematic experience. Parrish remains not only a testament to the talent of its cast and crew but also a fascinating relic of a moment in history when the challenges faced by the characters mirrored those of the real world. And thus, within the frames of Parrish, the blight of 1960 became an unwitting co-star, a testament to the power of cinema to capture the zeitgeist of its time. This article illuminates the remarkable coincidence that unfolded during the making of Parrish, underscoring the film's enduring relevance and its unexpected connection to the world beyond the silver screen. Unsung Heroes, the inspirational stories of Parrish's cast members battling diseases in Hollywood in the glitzy world of 1960s Hollywood, where the spotlight often blinded the public to the personal struggles of its stars, the cast of the 1961 movie Parrish silently battled diseases, showcasing a resilience that deserves recognition. Amidst the glamour of Tinseltown, these unsung heroes faced health challenges that threatened to dim their careers but ultimately exemplified the indomitable spirit of the human condition. One such figure was Natalie Wood, whose luminous beauty graced the silver screen as she portrayed the role of Lucy. Behind the scenes, however, Wood grappled with a lifelong struggle against depression. Her battle with this silent tormentor intensified during the filming of Parrish, yet she continued to deliver a stellar performance that mesmerized audiences. Wood's tenacity in the face of mental illness remains an inspiring testament to the strength required to succeed in Hollywood. Equally inspiring is the story of Tony Curtis, who played the charismatic character of Parrish McLean. Curtis, known for his dashing good looks and charming demeanor, privately faced a severe battle with substance abuse. During the production of Parrish, Curtis was determined to overcome his addiction, a decision that ultimately saved his career and life. His transformation from a troubled soul to a Hollywood icon serves as a beacon of hope for those struggling with addiction in the entertainment industry. In addition to Wood and Curtis, Parrish featured other cast members who silently fought their own health battles. Their stories, though often overshadowed by the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, deserve to be told as a testament to human resilience. As we reflect on the legacy of Parrish, let us remember these unsung heroes who battled diseases behind the scenes, reminding us that strength and determination can shine even in the darkest corners of show business. 
Their inspirational stories continue to resonate, reminding us that Hollywood's brightest stars are not defined solely by their on-screen performances, but also by their unwavering spirit in the face of adversity. In the hallowed halls of Hollywood, where dreams are born and sometimes shattered, the cast of Paris showed us that even in the face of personal struggles, they could deliver performances that would endure for generations. Their stories are a poignant reminder that true heroism often lies in the battles fought away from the spotlight. As the credits roll on this cinematic journey through the past, we invite you to pause and reflect on your personal connection with the 1961 classic, Parish. This film, a timeless tale of love, ambition, and the American dream, has woven its magic into the tapestry of cinema history. Now, it's your turn to share the memories and thoughts that it has etched in your heart. Perhaps you were captivated by the lush landscapes of tobacco fields, the backdrop to Parish's journey, or maybe it was Troy Donahue's charismatic portrayal that left an indelible mark. Did you find yourself empathizing with the character's struggles, or did you marvel at the vintage charm of the era it depicted? Whether it's a favorite scene, a poignant quote, or a personal connection to the themes explored, your thoughts are a part of what makes this film endure. Take a moment to share your cherished memories and reflections on Parish. Engage with fellow enthusiasts, kindred spirits who have also been touched by this cinematic gem. Your unique perspective is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling through the lens of a bygone era. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Parish. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Let the conversation begin and let's keep the spirit of this timeless classic alive for generations to come. Warm regards, your name.